All right, you guys, so I'm going to do a quick video on shoes. It's really not going to be long because it's pretty simple, and you can mirror this off of the heels video. The only thing you're not doing is adding the skin and the feet or fixing your UV map. That's the only thing you're not doing. So here's an example. I have feet here, and uh, you're not going to need them, so just go ahead and delete it. Um, and like how we did in heel video, we only need one shoe. So we're going to delete the other one. And we're going to only be working with one. So for example, here is tennis shoes and I have boots off to the side. All right. So just put the foot or the shoe over here and we're going to size it to the ankle. Pretty simple. Um, and this is the only part I'm going to do in this video. I'm not going to rig it because it's pretty simple. Um, you're just going to rig this portion to the foot, this portion to the ankle or the calves a little bit. That's the only two bones you should have in your rig. So now we're just going to modify this. So I would do the four by four. Control points, bring out the top pieces, of course. Try not to distort it to make it look really unnatural. wider honestly i believe this is not socks it might be skin it might be socks let me throw on the the texture just to see okay so those might actually be socks but i mean you can remove it if you want to Try to do this too, so it won't look distorted. Rig it, rig it over. All right, and move this a little bit forward. Too big, have long feet. All right, so I will have it like this. And that's pretty much how you do tennis shoes. Um, it's not hard. If you want, you could probably make it a little bit smaller compared to how your ped height and size is because it does look a little big. So convert to edible poly. Let me do patch first so I can get the, okay, and then edible poly. And then remember, we're gonna hit mirror up here, x-axis, copy, okay. All right, then we're gonna move it. Oh, not that one. Then we're gonna move it over. 
so that it mirrors. Guys, and this is pretty much how you do it. Um, you really don't want to move this up and down because it's already set to the ground level. Um, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> There's really nothing fancy or different than how you do tennis shoes. You just don't use the feet. That's pretty much it. So same thing with the boots. You're going to just delete one. And move it over. And you're just going to size it. Um, I'm actually making this boot for real, so. Uh, I wouldn't even make it wide. A lot of times you can just make it wide or smaller with, of course, the uniform and select tool. That kind of looks too small. Make it wider just a tad bit. Really. And I would use, of course, the 4x4. Four four. Control points. And drag out this top piece. Alright, so I'm telling you that's pretty much all you have to do. It's not difficult on doing shoes. I think shoes is about the easiest thing. Easiest, easiest thing. Um, especially when it comes to rigging. Because I most of this will be red and a little bit will be like blue. Um because you're only using two bones, so the foot and probably like the calf bone. Um, so when you go to rig, let's convert this setup probably. So I will patch first. Rolls up a little bit. And then convert to edible poly. All right, so when you go to rig this, I can't rig it now because there's nothing on it, no bones. Um, maybe, let me see. Skin, envelope, edit. There's no bones, but let me just, yeah, there's no bones, so. Um, yeah, so this part would be mostly red and then a little bit going up and then the calf would be a little bit red so that it doesn't move and attach. That's pretty much how you do boots as well. So if you have any other questions in regards to what else you guys want to see, just go ahead and um, put it in the chat. You dedicated this dedicated chat or just make a ticket. So that's pretty much it.